Thank you for joining me. When spring weather comes, so do uh, rare animals. Everybody comes out of hibernation, and uh, especially in the reptile world. Um, recently, I encountered a couple of interesting creatures, and I'd like to share the videos with you. Uh, basically, three reptiles and um, one amphibian. Uh, normally, these are creatures that go unseen, and I thought it would be cool. Um, and I did have my camera along. The last two clips, I actually only had a cell phone, and, and they were actually um, by yourself. And the, uh, the last is a rattlesnake. But first up, we got the blue spotted salamander. It's a little guy that uh, hides under wood in the forest, lives not uncommon, but you know, you don't see him unless you look for him. And I accidentally ran across this one, so enjoy the video. There, uh, look at what I found. I was moving my wood pile, and uh, out here, the cabin site. I'm gonna take a little break, but this is Salamander. And he's cold. He's alive, but he's cold. Yeah, I moved some big logs, and he come out of the log. And it's cool this morning. Of course, they're an amphibian, non-poisonous or anything like that. You see him? He's all right. I'm going to cover him back up so he doesn't get dried out. But uh, I didn't even know. I've seen him not all the time, but a lot of times dark. If you're rolling logs over, and this is uh, north central Wisconsin, you'll see these guys. And uh, like I said, he's alive, but he's not, he's not warm enough to move much. So... But you can see him. I don't want to touch him too much. He's moving. See? He likes it wet. And a little bit warmer than this. See? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Anyway, uh, the camera can't get a good angle at him. But you can see him. So we're going to cover him up with some bark until he warms up. And then he'll find his own way back. I don't want the sun to dry him out. Oopsie. There. A little dirt. Top of that, and I'll stay away from him. He should be okay. As he warms up, he'll probably disappear. Very few turtles have such a nasty disposition as a North American common snapping turtle. And this one was no exception to the rule. Well, I was heading out of the woods here on the edge of the field to come across this big guy. Or big girl, probably. Of course, this is a snapping turtle. Not a big, big one, but not bad size. She's hiding in her shell, but I'll tell you, they hold a hell of a wallop. I've had them jump at me. So, <laughs> A spotted salamander earlier, and now a nasty ass turtle. We here in Wisconsin, we got box turtles, painted turtles, soft shell turtles, and all of all of them. This is the really the meanest one. Like I said, she's not real big. I've seen them twice that big. She's gonna get unhappy here in a minute. Just gonna poke at her. She might not be really warmed up. See, look at snap. You know, they snap at you even though I'm behind her. Giving me a warning. Yeah, you don't mess with them. Not at all. The painted turtles and the box turtles and the soft shells and that, they've always been a little more pleasant. These big snappers. And, like I said, that ain't a big one. Back in the day, people used to harvest them make turtle soup and all that well you we don't do that anymore really this would be a good food source you could do it without getting bit and see the meat but then I always can smell them there's just a little bit of smell especially when you start kind of harassing them so I thought that'd be interesting to see <laughs> kind of unhappy but it's April. I don't know if they're laying eggs yet. I think it's a little early. 
but she might be up here looking for a place to nest. Just as a reference, they usually spend most of their time in the water, other than when they go to lay eggs. And you can see we're way up this high bank, and I have no idea where she come from. If we walk this way into the woods, I mean, this is a 40-foot cliff down to the high water, so I don't know how she got out of the river bottom. Maybe you can't see it on camera, but that's what we got. Yeah, so the other side I could see a turtle crawling, but here, and it's like this the whole way. So they're an amazing creature. Maybe, you know, maybe that, that there they can climb, climb that. I, I don't know. The western fox snake is a very common snake in the Midwest. Um, more often than not, people misidentify them because they do actually kind of act like a rattlesnake. More than once, I've seen them grab, you know, or take their tail, shake it in the leaves. It does, it does kind of sound like a rattlesnake. Um, they're not uh, aggressive. They will strike at you a couple times usually, and then they get scared, um, and I've caught plenty of them. Um, here in central Wisconsin, we actually call them pine snakes oftentimes. You find them in the pines. We have uh, large pine barrens and plantations, and uh, they're there. They're actually uh, part of the rat snake family, which is like an entire group, and it's one of the more common uh, creatures in that particular group. So that, that's how uh, we come to know them, uh, Western uh, fox snake. Okay, the last clip I have for you would be uh, the Massasauga rattlesnake. Um, this is the only rattlesnake in my area. They are very rare uh, on our property. I have only found three in f like 40 years probably. And uh, they were very common um, years ago. There was a bounty on them until the mid or the early 70s, I believe, in Wisconsin here. Now they are classified uh, protected and endangered, or at least threatened. Um, not so much from hunting, of course, mostly from loss of habitat. They need river bottoms, marshes, you know, kind of the, the wastelands. Uh, they hunt rodents amphibians. Uh, this particular one is a young one. He was about a foot and a half long. I figured him to be, you know, maybe a year old. He had one segment rattling. Uh, usually they only have about, I don't know, four or five. And I've read that each segment is a year. So, and I, I uh, don't know. I did that with a cell phone. Uh, kind of a dumb move on my part. They are poisonous. And uh, the young one's particularly have a bad attitude the older ones oftentimes are shy and try to escape as long as you don't step on them it's not a problem there's anti-venom of course for it. it's just a rattlesnake but it's a it's a pygmy rattlesnake and uh, in Wisconsin we have two rattlesnakes we also have a timber rattlesnake I have never found one of those on, on my property here in north central Wisconsin and for these guys we're right on the uh, northern border of their range so they become less and less likely the further north you go and uh, that's just the way it is with these rattlesnakes kind of uncommon well I hope you enjoyed the video none of the creatures here were injured all were let go unharmed and if you like the video please share uh, give me a thumbs up leave a comment uh, upvote whatever you like uh, thank you very much for watching